Hi, I'm Phil, and today we're going to explore using the Microbit computer with the Key Studio motor driver. And you can see the arrangement on my desktop on the right. And to do this, we're going to use a mind map. And uh, I'll describe the uh, Key e Studio um, motor driver. And uh, we'll have a look at a very simple demonstration and I'll give you some references. Uh, so um, you can see on the right what the uh, board looks like. You, on top, you just plug in the microbit computer and you've got available to you, not only the um, motor driver, and that can control two motors, both in the forward reverse direction and also the motor speed. And you can um, select higher voltage than you would normally use just with microbit. So um, in addition to that, you can see that there's a lot of other pins and this gives you access to um, adding additional um, sensors or actuators uh, to your microbit. And it can all be controlled by the external higher voltage and Inside, there's a voltage regulator. The great thing about this, it, it's the best um, value for money motor driver board for microbit. And um, it's a little bit trickier to use. Um, you have to understand how the microbit uh, pins are used. And uh, here you can uh, see how they're mapped to uh, motor one and uh, to motor two. So um, also have to understand the limitations on the current and the, uh, the voltage, but there's enough for any of the LEGO motors. And uh, my requirements are that I want to demonstrate that um, LEGO Technic motors can be interfaced to microbit computers. And it will need the... Um, interface board to achieve that. But in addition to the hardware, I also uh, want to make sure that the software works. And I want to see if it's suitable for STEM education, and in particular, using the um, LEGO 9686 or the clone version from Mock uh, as a platform in STEM education to um, explore Megatronics. And you can see on this very simple model on the LEGO 9686 that we're uh, using um, battery power to um, energize a motor in this uh, lift and crane control. So, how do we connect it? Well, we take a micro bit and um, uh, that's uh, connected by the uh, USB cable, as we normally do, to a computer, and we use make code. We connect the um, Key e Studio motor driver board to the micro bit, and just connect it on top. And uh, we're ready to then connect all of the four terminals, starting from the left with ground and um, our nine volts. And they're coming from a USB to 9 or 12 volt converter, uh, which is powered by USB power. And that means we uh, dispense with using batteries. And um, we need to um, get an extension cable, uh, cut it in two, and take the inner two wires and connect those to A1 and A2. And um, at the other end of our extension cable, we're ready to uh, connect our motor, our LEGO motor. So here I'm using a Power Functions M motor. And I'm also going to um, get some feedback on the status of the operation of the motor by using a Grow four digit display. And uh, this is the nice thing about uh, the Key e Studio that it's not only a uh, motor driver that you've got access to all the other pins to add um, growth components. 
And for the power, I'm using a USB 5 volt uh, to 9 or 12 volt voltage converter. And it's capable of um, giving me an output up to one amp. Yeah, as um, in the previous project, there's a little bit of assembly needed and you need to uh, cut the uh, Lego Technics power function cable and um, connect it to two wires and they can be screwed onto the um, uh, to the uh, key e studio board. And as before, I'm doing a bit of soldering uh, to give me a better um, and more reliable connection to the uh, motor driver board. Uh, so now that we've got the hardware, we'll explore the software. So in this very simple uh, demonstration, all I'm doing is when I press button A, I move forward, press button B on micro bit, I reverse. And if I press um, both button A and B, I stop and I provide some um, feedback uh, on the current um, status using the Grove four digit display. Um, quite simple and it works. So I uh, achieved the results. Um, certainly uh, the uh, Technique motors can be interfaced to microbit computers. And in this case, I'm using the uh, Kiwi Studio motor driver board. The uh, drivers work. And, and in fact, I'm using standard um, blocks instead of a uh, specialized extension. So um, while that's a little bit more complex, in some ways it's um, a little bit more universal. And I've explored the suitability. This should be quite suitable to um, let Lego motors be computer controlled on the Lego 9686 um, Simple Machines Education Kit. And uh, here are my results uh, for the references. So if you want to um, know more about the uh, Microbit Key e Studio motor driver board, hop along to the shop and there's a, a wiki there which will um, explain a little bit more. Okay, thank you for now. And uh, that's all. I use many Lego power function motors like this one. This is the um, M motor and um, very easy to use. Just connect it to a uh, battery box like this and uh, turn on the power and you've, and you've got um, motion and you've animated your techniques model. If you want to take it a stage further, we can replace all of this with um, a computer. And the computer is the microbit computer connected to a Key E Studio motor driver board. So um, the microbit uh, fits on the uh, header here and uh, at the other end we've got the connections to a power supply so we're taking a um, USB 5 volt to 9 volt converter and we're feeding 9 volts and ground into the um, motor driver board then we just simply take um, the uh, inner two terminals and what we have to do is get a, an extension uh, cable like this and only use the inner two uh, wires and these are labeled C1 and C2 and um, they go to drive our motor so uh, in addition we also have a Grove four digit display and uh, just to give you a bit of a uh, demonstration of all this uh, when we press button A on microbit, we start up the motor, it goes in one direction, and we get um, a, um, a message on our four-digit display about the, uh, the motor mode. And if we want to stop it, we just press button A and button B together. 
that stops it. Now, if we wanted to go the other direction, and you'll notice that the uh, four-digit display shows us the updated um, mode of our motor. And that's the uh, microbit computer with the key the studio motor driver board.